Hold on tight! Okay, so another video, Wicksteed Park this time. Um, somewhere just outside of Stoke by, when I say just, I mean plus two hours, thanks to Sean's bad um, judgment on timing. It said 90 minutes on Google, one hour 32. Yeah, so uh, Wicksteed Park, let's go have a look. Now, Sean has assured me that this is a friendly, kids friendly family park, so not just kids, but there's stuff for adults as well. Adult fish, yeah, more I'm family, family-friendly. I've not Googled this and I'm looking around and it doesn't look very adult vibe. I mean, we haven't got a mirror this time, so it might look a bit odd, but uh, we'll see. Uh, but compared to uh, Twin Lakes, which is a bit <laughs> we thought we'd uh, give you somewhere else to go on a uh, Easter weekend. So let's go and check out Wicksteed Park. So we're heading this direction because apparently there is adult rides this way, fingers crossed. That guy's flying a drone, call the police because he's not got a spotter. Now when you fly a drone you have to have somebody spotting. So you look at the camera and you have somebody else, if you can't see it in your line of sight or you're weighing goggles, and I've got a spotter. I would know because I nearly got arrested for it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, a video with fun fairs and roller coasters and things wouldn't be complete with the, 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 Mr. Fun Fair himself, which you've already introduced you back up there already talking about, I forgot to introduce him properly. It's uh, the Mr. Fun Fair, Sean Evans. Hello, Yay. how are you? Don't let the sunglasses fool you. I haven't let 7,000 subscribers go to my head. I'm just very, very tired. It's been a long week. So from what it seems like this place, it's like a big park. People taking dogs for a walk, there's play areas. There's other things to do than just go on rides. You can walk around, you don't have to go on them. You're free to get in. You buy a wristband or you buy tickets and you pay per ride, which is £2.50. Or it's £20 for a kid's wristband or £18 for an adult wristband. So, yeah, let's go check out this roller coaster. To be honest then. Yeah, I'll be for it. Don't know if we'll just go in or we just wait for it. Right Hold on. That's not bad for a little ride. I was just saying on my video, when you go over here, just as you're coming up to the ride, normally rides like this, you'd see them at like fun fairs or permanent fun fairs. They just had, went through a little bit of extra effort with a little dinosaur at the front and a little bit of theming just going up to the ride. It's like, it's not much, but it's better than most people do. And that's why I bring Sean with me, because I just go, yeah, there's a ride. It was all right, it's a little bit busy. It's got a little flash, you get a camera and... Uh, yeah, there's a dinosaur there, which I wouldn't even say I said anything about. So, uh, yeah, Sean's... Uh, that's why I've been Sean, anyway. <laughs> Galaxy Invaders. <laughs> Hiya. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. I think we've got our own button so we can go up and down. But Press the button. Let's see what it does. Nothing, Nothing yet. yet. Sean has no shame. He'll go on any ride as long as he can film it. Oh no, I have shame. I'll put my sunglasses on. <laughs> now, if I had Amelia with me, I'd probably be straight on there. I'll just watch your POV, mate. Look at you in the back. <laughs> no, thank you. I'll pass. One thing that these have got over Twin Lakes is um, the food shop's open and the burger's quite nice as well. We just need some fresh donuts. I think they thought that Sean could handle the heat because there's uh, a lot more jalapenos on yours than there is mine. Yeah, it's, a, it's a hot bird. The, the key's in the name. It's good, spicy. 
So the sun's out, you had a spicy burger. There's only one way to cool down, and that's go on the uh, log flume. I've not been on one since the one at Alden Towers, so it should be a bit exciting. And uh, if we do get wet, then the sun's out, so we can get uh, dry, hopefully. Yeah, here comes one now. Well, you're always fine with these kind of ones, is. The water's there, but then when you're sucking up the hill, the water then goes back onto your crotch. We'll let Sean go in front, because he's filming the POV. I have to keep my voice down so that I'm not on his video. That's Sean in his day-to-day -day work. Let's see how waterproof this is. Um, oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Are you not? No. How <laughs> did you not get wet? I'm not wet at all. I'm so glad. <laughs> you can tell Sean loves water, right? Because uh, he wanted to go around again. But we swapped places this time because he didn't get wet. I don't want to get wet again. So fingers crossed. We'll be all right. I missed this last time, but ready for this. Watch this. Made me jump. I ain't got me wet. Oh, I'm jump again. <laughs> Hold on tight! Yeah. Yeah. Sitting at the front is the dry spot. What? Just a little bit. Now, you didn't know this, but this is actually our third go round because we wanted to get that in slow motion until we went on it again. Not only have you got your um, Roller coaster, log flumes, and things. You've also got the normal like, full fare rides like the Dodgems, as I see. Pretty much something for everyone, really. And uh, I'm changing it a little bit. I'm more enjoying myself, and I think I am making use of this band a bit more. So it's, uh, good fun. Okay, so we've been sitting on here for about three or four minutes now. The guy goes round, you have to stand by your seat. The guy comes round individually and uh, opens up each. Each chair. It's now been nearly five minutes. And we're just sitting here. So, we'll be here about six minutes now. And uh, he's gone round, he's done all the balls, put everybody in. Now, this will be safe. He's going round again. And he's checking every box. I bet he goes on again. <laughs> he does last until long ago. <laughs> Seven minutes of sitting here. Ready for a ride. It's starting to feel a bit sick now. I just realised that I really need to show this photo to be a smoke. Areas. There's the kids area, there's the thrill area where we've been spending most of the time, and then there's a splash area. Also, there's just play areas and things around. It is just a big park, really. It's... So uh, this is yeah, this has got to be here for this has got to be one of the original rides here at this park. It's just a boat which goes down a rope, down a slide and pulls back up the rope. Uh, quite exciting to be honest. Oh, are you in front? Yeah, I'll go in front. I'll go in the back because that's where you said you get wet. <laughs> Second time round. Can you see anything on that camera? <laughs> Surprisingly, yeah, yeah. it is quite fun. Yeah, it's good. Good little ride. This is the second time we've been on it. Third time round. We've gone for the back seat this time. My arm just got soaked. Oh, it's gone all down, buddy. It wasn't wrong, the back seat was the worst. <laughs> Oof. 
Sean's gonna try and make the he's made it. I think this place is pretty good for all ages. So you've got the kids, you've got the kids rides, you've got a few adult rides, but you've got gardens and things as well. Even your uh, your grandparents you could bring down and uh, take a look at the gardens. I wish the uh, the zip wire was open. I love parrots as well. A bit disappointed. So not only have you got rides, and a lot of, there's also a lot of petting zoo there. There's the place with the um, parrots that you couldn't get into just. And now we've got meerkats. Hello. Oh, don't bite me. <laughs> So the good thing about this wristband is you can get in anywhere. So you can get in the meerkats, the mini golf, and now the petting zoo. <laughs> the farm's got its own little gift shop. Right then, so we're heading back to the car. This is the second time I've recorded this now because the first time I recorded it down by the uh, splash ride and then we've just been around and found the little zoo, petting zoo, um, the parrots which were closed, the meerkats which I managed to stroke when I wasn't supposed to, and uh, a few other rides and mini golf which is all included in this little bad boy wristband. So from the start when I was saying you're probably not going to get 18 pounds worth because of the rides, um, actually we did 10 rides and then, sure well, did 11 because he went on the uh, the ladybird comes The ladybird ride. Um, but yeah, we did 10 rides on plus the ladybird. Um, and we did the zoo and then we've done the, um, we could have done the mini golf, but it's three o'clock and I said I'd leave it at three o'clock because I'm going on a bit of a drinking spell. So yeah, I better leave it there so that we can drive back. But 18 pounds, let me flip the camera around. But yeah, 18 pounds. Um, definitely worth a visit 100% and I would if I was going to travel two hours or an hour and 30 minutes plus 20 minutes Google said 130 well, Google said one hour 30 <laughs> so if I'm going to travel an hour and a half to two hours away I wouldn't go to Twin Lakes I'd go here there's a lot more to do here yes it's more expensive it's an extra eight pound or ten quid if you're a kid but probably not if you're a kid because your mum would pay for it um, or your dad or your legal guardian anyway um <laughs> so yeah you've got a lot more to do yes you've got a zoo at twin lakes but here you've got the petting zoo you've also got like I say the parrots and the meerkats um but there's just lots more to do and it's a lot spaced out so if you wanted to sit down and have a picnic or bring the dog with you as well you could because you say you just walk in it's free to go in and you pay per ticket £2.50 or £18 for an adult wristband or £20 for a child wristband yeah I think you summed that up better than I did in my own video I've been learning I know but anyway yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and then if you want to add Are you not? No. <laughs> How did you not get wet? I'm not wet at all. I'm so glad. <laughs>